when you're building a startup there are some negative things that you should be aware of that are very very common now people don't talk about these things we only talk about success and we talk about all the glories but the negative aspects if you know them when you go through them you will not quit your startup because you understand that this is expected number one things will always take longer than expected and things that you don't know even exist will pop up as a distraction as a problem as a, a thing like pandemic who knew about pandemic but it does come right what about uh, your co-founder leaving what about some legal case something you did that was illegal and your accounts got frozen right things like that happen it is actually natural don't worry about it they all can be fixed with the right person with the right contacts everything can be fixed now when you're building uh, let's say a, a tech project right your tech guy says 45 days assume 90 days double it why because there's some things you won't like there's some things they won't like they'll probably take longer a little bit testing here something ex unexpected happened it takes longer when you know it when you have buffers for things that will not work out according to the right timeline you can have a more accurate timeline and have the right uh, promises you can make to your investors to your customers and everybody else right plan on your startup not going according to plan that is a very common thing it's just how it is so be dynamic be always ready to improvise to be jugaru to hack and figure out somehow or other get to the point right but yes sometimes it might take longer than expected to have those buffer times to make sure that you have the accurate timeline number two it is natural to feel lost as an entrepreneur you will hit a plateau or everybody's rejecting investors are rejecting times are bad economy is down co-founders leaving you know uh, employees are, are uh, you know cheating stealing happening in your company whatever things will happen and that's when you feel like maybe I should quit maybe I'm not meant for this again a very very common phenomenon in entrepreneurs life you go through that over and over again just know that this is normal this is to be expected in a in a business it's not like you have a job where everybody else up there is taking care of all the fires and you just need to do your job no this is business where you need to take care of the fires you need to take care of all the things that can go wrong so it is okay to feel lost having a mentor helps having somebody who can tell you hey you know what i also went through this and this is how i got out of it this is how I broke the plateau, right? It helps. So, so get a mentor, find somebody who you can trust, who is where you want to be and who has been where you are right now. Third thing, you will feel lonely. That's the dark side of entrepreneurship. You will feel lonely. Even if you are partnered up, if, even if you have a co-founder, even if you're married or whatever else, you will feel lonely because you will not be understood. It is very natural for your friends, family, close people to leave you, to say terrible things to you because you don't give them time, because you don't go to the birthday parties, because you don't do the things that every other normal person does. Now, guess what? When you're doing extraordinary things, don't expect to be understood by ordinary people. It's not their fault. It's not your fault. You're doing something extraordinary and you understand it, how much valuable it is. And in the long term, how much beneficial it is. They don't because they've not seen it. And that's why they think you're the bad son or the uh, bad uh, sister-in-law or whatever else that relatives might uh, uh, think you are. But that's okay. It's temporary. Eventually, in the long run, once you have your business set, there is a set system. There are employees taking care of things. A lot of time will open up. And in your mid thirties, you know, when others are struggling and at the peak of their career, really trying hard to get that promotion, you are chilling, you have more time for your family, for your kids, for your friends, and you can be social and run your business or businesses across the continents and still have enough time for everybody else. But it takes time to get to that point when you have enough time. So now in your early twenties, you know, when you're starting your business, know that you will be needed almost 16 to 17 hours a day and you will be hated by those love you, but that's okay. It's temporary. You do your hard work now, eventually you will reap the benefits for the rest of your life. You will live life king size. So understand these dark aspects of entrepreneurship. It's not for everyone. If it's not for you, hey, it's okay to be in a safe job. It's okay to be a freelancer. It's okay to have other forms of entrepreneurship, right? But if you're building a multi-million dollar business, a product service kind of a business, a scalable business, have investors and lawyers and accountants and, and co-founders and a big team and all of that, 
it's supposed to be a little dark it's supposed to have some struggles and that's normal and it's okay you know if you need help i'm obviously there you can always reach out to me as elder brother i'm happy to help you in any way i can thank you for watching this video if you need more help you can use the number in the description to book your meeting or mentorship just call or dm on whatsapp to book your slot